Hello there, my name is Ashraf and I'm from Zenon Studios. Well, as you can see on my screen, I want us to look at um, the Flemish Bond in AutoCAD. Well, a Flemish Bond is one that comprises of both headers and stretchers on the same course. And uh, we are going to see how to draw exactly that. So I'll open a fresh page for us and uh, we shall start right away. Perfect. So grab your rectangle tool and uh, draw your first brick at a corner and we said a brick is always 225 by 112.5 perfect and we say immediately after the first brick you insert what we call a queen closer and the queen closer we discussed is 225 by um 56.25 and so i'll move the queen closer and put it exactly here Perfect. Now on this course, now that you've started with the header, that means you're going to continue with um, stretchers. So uh, we shall have bricks that are uh, actually um, that are uh, 112.5 by 225. And uh, I'll copy the brick to here and then copy that double here perfect 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 and then after those two we need to have a header so i'll copy this and uh, put it right here and then after a header we need to have stretches so I'll simply copy this and put it right here and uh, after those two stretches you shall have a header here well, I'm stopping there for now. So, when you come back down at our corner, you realize that we started with a stretcher here. So, the next brick here has to be a header. So, I'll copy this header. So, I'll copy the brick and put it right there. Then, after that header, we need to have two um, stretchers. So, I'll copy this, put it right here, and put it right there. Then after a stretcher, we need to have a header. So I'll copy this and uh, put it right here. Then stretchers. And the wall we co will continue with the same pattern, uh, just like that. Then that is our plan course one. So if I can insert some text in here. Um, don't say the height is uh, 40. Um, this is my plan. Course 1. This can be 3, 5, 86. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Then I'm going to create my plan course 2. And since we started with the horizontal grid, this time we're going to start with one that is vertical. So I'll draw a vertical grid. And uh, that is uh, um, 112.5 by 225. Okay. And then I'll position this where it's supposed to be. So, yeah. And then we say after our first brick, we need to put what we call a queen closer. So, we still draw a queen closer, and this is going to be 56.25 to two five hit enter copy this guy and put it um where it's supposed to be and that is there then we start with our header so we need to continue with stretchers so i'll simply copy these stretchers that's what we're doing this time then after a stretcher we need to have a header so copy a header and put it right here then after a header we need to have stretchers copy stretches put them here and just like that the pattern will continue so coming back to the corner still we started with a stretcher so we need to put a header right here so i'm simply going to copy this header right here so that we don't waste time and put the header right there then after the header we shall have stretchers so i'll get my stretchers copy stretchers right there then copy the header Put in right here and the pattern continues just like that 
then I can still copy this text and put it right here and make sure it reflects that this is plan cost 2 uh, this is plan cost 2 it can be 4 and it can be 6 then 8 and so on and so on perfect now to do this in isometric I'll simply turn on my ISO, ISO drafting and I'll select ISO plane top. Perfect. I'm going to draw two courses. So I'll start with um, the second course and I'll draw um, that first brick, which is 225. Enter by, um, by uh, 112.5. Enter. Then 225 still and close it off right here perfect 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 then i can put a queen closer which is 56.25 enter then this is 225 enter and close it off right here just like that and then after that we can have two um stretchers here so stretcher 225 enter then uh, still 225 enter and to close off right here we have a line in the middle here. then we need to have a header so i'll simply copy this copy and put a header right here then we need to have two stretchers there so i'll simply copy these stretchers and uh, put them right yeah perfect and then i'll come back to the corner and then create a header right here and continue with my bond so i'm creating a header and that is 112.5 enter then this is 225 enter and uh, close it off right here perfect 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 then i need to have two stretchers so stretcher that is 225 enter 225 enter and it will close off right here draw a line in the middle and finally we shall need to have a header there so i'll simply copy this one so put it right here perfect perfect and we said a brick has a height of 75 that includes the motor joint so 75 enter draw that line to this corner and uh yeah Perfect, perfect, perfect. So select this and uh, copy this to this here. Yeah, yeah. Perfect, 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 perfect. Then after that, we can have now the first course down here. It's going to be 75 steel, the height. And then going this side according to our plan course one. We had a header and the header is 112.5 enter then close this off here then we have a queen closer right here which is 56.25 um, there and then we have stretches so this is 2 to 5 enter then after the stretcher we need to have a header and this is 112.5 enter um, then after the header we need to have stretchers this is the 5 enter so um i'm not going to okay 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 um so this will then be 75 enter and then i'll close it off here and to make this realistic, remember this is isometric, I'll draw a line like that. Then coming this other side, we shall have to draw a full brick, which is 2 to 5, enter. Then, uh, uh, sorry about that. So if you want to trim this away. And then, um, then draw our stretcher, sorry, header, 1, 1, 2.5, enter. Then after the after the header, I'll put a stretcher. So I'm simply going to copy this and put it here, and just like that. 
um, we have our isometric of a Flemish bone. So let me copy this text and uh, put it right here such that our text also reflects that this is an isometric of two courses. Perfect, perfect. Thank you for watching. If you found this helpful, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. See you in my next tutorial.